guys it's Molly here we're back out here in Texas City Dyke and we're here with my dad over here pa di hola pa hola there we go he's right here and uh, today we brought two big rods and we're gonna cast out mullets we have a variety of baits out here so um, and some nice people just gave us live croakers but we don't have a life well so we just put them right there they're gonna die either way so we'll just put them right there they're small perfect bait for flounder and nice very nice people um we're gonna cast those out and see if there's any fish out there that are hungry so let's get to it all right guys well we have the same rig right here same spider weight right here the swivel the beads and we have a uh, whiting a piece of whiting right here this is the the whiting that we caught last time same rig if you guys want me to show you how to make one of these please comment down below and i'll be i'll gladly show you how to make one of these Hopefully there's something out there that wants to eat. I am expecting some light showers. As you can see, it's not such a clear day out here. <laughs> We've got it set up and everything. It's already anchored. And we're going to throw that one out. Alright, on this piece we have the same rig. Right here, the same rig with the wire and everything. But we have a... Uh, mullet right here not so big not so small piece of mullet here this is a fin chaser but we're gonna cast it out and see hopefully it does well all right guys well we're gonna begin with um a half an ounce egg weight right here with a bead and a gamagatsu circle hook right here and it's not a circle hook gamagatsu octopus hook there we go so we're gonna use this uh, croaker, live croaker that this uh, nice person gave to us, right here, a baby croaker. I hope, I hope. Let's pray to God that we catch a flounder with this croaker right here. It seems like we have something on, but I'm not too sure what this is. I think it's a crab. This is a crab. Yep, that is a crab. It's a female crab. So let's bring her up. Damn. Never mind. That's why you should always keep your nets. But for now, we're going to be using his big brother, which is this guy right here. Hopefully, Founder picks it up instead of a crab. I mean, crabs are okay because they're, we can use them for bait as well. Or we can eat them. If they're big enough, of course. But right now we're aiming for a uh, flounder. Come on. Come on, flounder. Wake up. Alright, guys. They took my croaker, so we're gonna throw out a piece of shrimp right here. And we changed the hook to a bait holder hook. This is size 4. So let's cast it out and see if little perch wants to pick it up all right that hooked up on something kind of good i think we're going to go ahead and keep this guy because he is decent sized and probably would make good fish tacos we have hooked up on something let's see what it is it's it's way too small though it's, oh it's a little croquette There we go. He ate that whole shrimp right there. Actually, no, it's on the hook. Nice. All right, let's run back. Oh, and we have another croaker over there on the other line. We're gonna drive back. We have another fish on. Let's see what this is. Whoa! What is this? It's a lizard fish. 
<laughs> it's a lizard fish. I've never caught one of these before. Uh huh. Ida? Pez lagartija. Eh? <laughs> okay, we're gonna get the phone and, and show it to you guys. Alright, guys, let's take a closer look at this guy right here. Man, here, let the camera capture it. Well, beautiful colors on this guy. Interesting fish, too. Never caught one of these before. Huh. Look at those teeth right there. Sharp teeth. And very jumpy, too. Here, let me flip him over. Really interesting guy. Beautiful. If, if I hold it like that, what would you think I'd be holding? Huh? A lizard, right? That's probably why they call him lizard fish. Alright, we're gonna throw him back. Alright, let's put this interesting fish back in the water. Oh man, beautiful. I wanna let him go like this. He's good to go. Oh, nice catch. Alright, guys, we have something on. This guy is kind of fighting. What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, probably croquettes. Most likely. Let's see, what is this? Oh, he's kind of fighting. Oh, he's kind of big too. Ah, it's a croquette. Yep. They don't bite, they just pick up. Look at this guy. Another decent sized one. But well, we're gonna let this guy go. Beautiful guy. Beautiful colors on him. Let's throw him back. There he goes. Alright guys, we we're hooked on Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a sea robin. Oh man. Another nice sea robin. Look at that. Different species, that's good. Look at this guy. Beautiful guy. Those eyes though. Look at those eyes. Bluish and the yellowish around it. That's beautiful. Man, look at that. Look at the little handles on the bottom right there. Beautiful guy. Ooh, he's ready to spike me from there. Look at that. All right, let's put him back. He's ready to go. There he goes. <laughs> All right, we have something on. Let's see what this is. Another croquette. Man, there's a bunch of these out there. All right, we're going to throw this guy out. Got something on right here. This is different. What is this? Oh, okay. This is a spot. This is not a croquette. This is a spot. I think it's the same family uh, as uh, what's it called? Ooh, it's the same family of the croakers. You can notice from the little um, dot right here. This is a spot. Ooh, he's ready to go. This is not a croaker. It looks like a croaker though. You can also notice from the from the shape of the head. But croakers, when you when you get him, oh, he's a little bit bloody. When you get him, they open up their gills, and this one doesn't. Look, this one doesn't. These have uh, soft gills right here, gill plates. So we're gonna put this guy back. Nice little fish, purple on top, the stripes, same thing, but with the difference of the spot right here. Beautiful guy. Let's put him back. There you go. Alright guys, we have the generator set up. It already got dark. And as soon as I turned on the lights, I saw something down here. Probably a mullet or something. It came up. So, we're going to cast the net a little bit. See if there's anything in there. It is pretty dangerous to do this, guys. Well, not dangerous, but risky. Because you can lose your casting net. So, you got to be careful. You got to know where to throw it what spots i've been here many times and i've thrown it here many times and i have not gotten gotten it stuck i will soon do a tutorial of it on how to throw the casting net because it took me a long time to learn how to cast the net and i want to help you guys learn how to cast the net well by no means am i an expert of course not but I can show you a little bit of knowledge uh, on how to ca cast the net. Look at this. 
dad got a, caught a, a double right here. A nice little trout right here. Sand trout. And a croaker. Double species on two hooks on the same line. <laughs> but I changed to the Daiwa rod right here. And I have this uh, size, uh, I think it's a size 2 uh, bait holder hook. And then a uh, 2 ounce weight right here, cannon weight. We're going to throw it out there and see if um, probably speck a trout or anything like that. Hopefully. Well, let's pray to God, you know, anything that comes. Alright guys, I put a little piece of trout right here. Oh, and this one's fighting. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's another nice trout. This is a really nice trout right here. On a piece of trout. Look at that. That's a piece of trout right there. Okay, we're going to put this guy back. He's too big for bait. And we already have some croakers for tacos. So, we're going to let him go. There he goes. Okay, people. So... We stayed for like an hour or two after this, and sadly, the only thing that we caught was a bunch of small sea trouts. And that's the only thing we caught for a big while, and probably some small croakers there, but they were not worth filming. So instead, I decided to call it a quits and head back home. Huh, this is all being, we've been catching for a long time right now. And it's not back. Alright my dudes, we're back home from the dike and as soon as we got here, it started raining. You see, I don't know if you can hear that. Probably yes, it's kind of loud. I had a blast out there today with my dad. We caught a bunch of croakers, a bunch of trouts. We brought three croakers back home. We gave two to one of our neighbors and um, uh, I was planning on doing a catch and cook with uh, one of the croakers but my mom decided to make it on her own and everything so I just respected that decision and I let her do it. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you want me to do next and share with your family and friends. It really helps out a lot. And thank you all guys for watching this video. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.